Good morning. We're here at Kona Village Resort on the Big Island of Hawaii, and it is June 2023. Now, as you know, the grand opening uh, is scheduled for just a few days from now. So we wanted to just give people a quick sneak peek of what it looks like. As you can see, chairs are set up. The new bungalows have been set. Um, we're gonna just walk up here a little bit and check it out. So nobody's staying here yet, but we just wanted to give people a feel for what it looks like. Um, they've been working for years and years on this project. I'm gonna guess that this is one of the new suites. As you can see, all the new hallways uh, look really nice. And um, all, more importantly, all of the infrastructure underneath of them has been redone. One of the things that's really nice about Kona Village Resort, uh, they have a nice beach up a little further. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that in this video, but we'll at least show you the progress that's been made and um, very much look forward to sharing more with you. Um, we're actually going to have a behind the scenes tour uh, probably on July 2nd, uh, pending conversations with uh, folks from the resort. And they're actually gonna take us in some of the rooms and see what it's all about. Now, one of the things that's always been nice, you know, that it's really evocative of the Pacific dream um, to go be in a thatched hut with a terrace and a room. But as you can see, everything now is more modern and put together uh, with some more amenities, beach chairs, things of that variety. Uh, the grounds though of course are still gorgeous and um, I'm pretty sure everyone's going to really really enjoy this. You can see it's a beautiful morning. It is about uh, 6.30 here in Kona. And if we zoom in here, it's a bit of a walk to get over there. I'm not sure it's all accessible yet. That is the main pool area um, and home of, I believe it is the shipwreck bar and some other uh, establishments too. this and I'm going to guess that this looks like bungalow 132 I'm going to guess that this is a suite uh, it looks beautiful feel free to invite us over when, uh, when when you rent this one now we're coming to the main part of the resort Again, Kona Village has always been known for having nice water activities. You can see the rib craft out there. Uh, I know that uh, as well as a uh, canoe, some other things. And one of the things, I, I believe these are generally shared resources with uh, the Four Seasons as well, and others in, in the area. And as you can see there, that is the heart of the resort. We'll walk a little further. And here, sorry, is a little bit uh, more black sand, which I think is super cool, by the way. 
I didn't realize there was black sand over here. I have with me assisting Omar Aloha Jr. And uh, he's making sure we're all good, which I think we are. Let's see, anything else that you wanna see? We'll be doing uh, some more videos in the coming days. And I'd really encourage you uh, to subscribe, comment on this video, and uh, we'll try to get you everything. We're also gonna try to get back to the petroglyphs uh, right behind the resort to show everyone. I know we've all been waiting for a long time to see what they've done here. And it looks, it looks like a really nice product, a gorgeous product, and uh, one that I think will be a really nice compliment to the veritable Four Seasons here. As you can see here again, you know, definitely new infrastructure on the bungalows, uh, but the rooms look great. And um, it's nice to see activity here. I know that the resort has been closed. Of course, there's a tsunami in 11. Tsunami in 11, and I recall closing before that through the financial crisis. So this looks like the main part of the beach. One of the nice things that's over here, um, this part is a little bit more gentle than a lot of parts of Kona. I'm not sure what's up in this building. I'm going to guess that it's a restaurant or a spa. We'll have to find out on our uh, guided tour that we'll be getting in early July. It's actually a very, very exciting time to be here because we're literally days from opening. And um, again, here you can see they've done just a really nice job in this central area. Um, looks like they've redone the pool. We can't go there. That We're still in the public access area and we'd like to respect that. But here, we'll show you a little bit of that flyover. As you can see, it's nice and gentle over here. We have some boats, some chairs. Um, it really harkens back to the history of Conan Village. Uh, it feels like that, but certainly updated with modern safety and infrastructure and um, of course, regulatory needs. We're going to try to get up to the main house and then we'll probably turn it around but again please comment and post for things that you want to see when we get our guided tour i will certainly request that of the uh, resort team that's been kind enough to invite us uh, to, for that tour In here, a lot of the layout really looks very, very similar um, to what it was before. 
again obviously updated uh, by Rosewood and um, looks like no expense was spared I do remember here there used to be a shop where you could uh, buy pearls and so forth I wonder if I don't think that that would still be open but hopefully they're doing something in that tradition we'll get to this final main lawn and main house wow this looks great I can hear the music in the lobby. Let's see if we can get any view inside. Looks gorgeous, huh? And I'm gonna trust that this is pool and so forth. I think this is no longer public access other than on the lava. And um, I'm adventurous, but not that adventurous. So until we get our grand premiere video, please check this out. Put in the comments anything you wanna see and we'll do our very, very best to get this for you. And here's our final uh, scene here. Thanks so much.